ready for action. All right, what's up YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn? How y'all doing tonight? This is TK from Comic Insider. We're here at day one of the Great Smoky Mountain Comic Expo with John Anderson. How you doing, buddy? Greetings again, my friend. How yeah, are you? It's been a while, all the way since Huntsville. Huntsville, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that was a fun one, though. Yeah, actually, right. you know, I gotta say, that was... Uh... I met Lex Luger in Huntsville. That was pretty dope. I'm a mark for wrestlers. All right. All I'm right. hoping uh, Dylan uh, Hornswoggle shows up here at some point. I've never met him. I'm uh, excited I'm, about I'm that. Even the, like this one is kind of a little bit less on the mask too. Sure. Because you can you can go anywhere in there without having one. I'm wearing one, but I took it off for you guys. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate I, it. I just wanted to give you like some kind of disease. It's probably not cor Corona though. Oh. It's probably oh, just oh, herpes. Yeah. Herpes gone. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. So what you been up to, man? Nothing, man. Just waiting for all this stuff to blow over, like everybody else. We're finally yeah. getting out. Finally getting to do a show again. Yay. Yeah, I know. This is great. It's it's finally good to get back this on the Comic-Con circuit. This is the most man. I've been home in the, in the last year since the last five. <laughs> my kids are tired of me being at home. My wife wants me to go somewhere. Just get out of the house, go to a con. I'm sick of seeing you. I'm sure that's not the case. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's the case with my cat. It's like, why are you here all the time right. now? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, what are you doing here? Go get a job. So, man, uh, do we got any new stuff coming up on the Marvel Projects? Not I, at the moment, man. Oh. Everything's still kind of shut down for me, man. Uh, we were actually, it was funny, we were just discussing 80s stuff, too. Yeah, which I thought yeah. that was a good segue. I was like, we should be filming this conversation. We were just talking about people beating us up in high school for wearing Ninja Turtle shirts. Yeah, now it's or, just the norm. It's, it's the norm. Like, you know, I used to wear, like, the, like I said, the trucker Ninja Turtle cap in high school. They give me crap for the Star Wars shirt in high school. They give me crap for Ren and Stimpy shirts in high school. They gave me crap for everything I wore, and I'm still wearing to this day. Actually, I still nothing much has changed. I think I, I really, still have the Transformers one from. When I don't I was really a kid. feel like I was a nerd anymore, though. Now everybody's wearing it. It's all in style. I'm a trendsetter. I paved the way for the nerds that are coming after me. Right. God right. bless them too. So I gotta say, man, one of, the, one of the stuff that we talked about last time we did an interview, man. How's it feel with pretty much with every Marvel movie you've been in, pretty much being the Where's Waldo? of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It is like Waldo, but with more me. <laughs> yeah, with, with with a little bit more. I need to, I even expand it into the DC <laughs> stuff. I did that show that was, what was that? It was uh, Titans or something, what? no, it was Doom Patrol. I did an oh, episode of what? Doom Patrol. Yeah. Which episode, man? Like, I think it was like the 10th one on the first season. I broke out of a super prison and Bought some cops or something. I remember that. Ended up getting. Uh, yeah, it was like this ugly pink jumpsuit that I yeah, was wearing. Yeah, ended up getting like killed off in that, right? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I felt like a giant popsicle <laughs> wearing that outfit. That is a, this is a not, pretty crazy show. I it mean, was a good show. Well, I think uh, somebody picked that up again for say HBO bought it. I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they picked up a first season too. Which yeah, is, that's which gonna is be awesome. That's gonna show. be pretty like epic. The DC television is good, man. It's been oh, yeah. really good. A lot better than movies. Huh? I think a lot, a little bit, a little bit better than the movies. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's always been the thing, hasn't it? Like Marvel comes oh, yeah. it on the movie screen, but their TVs, like, eh. and it's vice versa for DC. Their movies, you know. And everybody asks you, you do all this Marvel stuff, you work on all those movies. Oh, I'm a comic book junkie, dude. I love this stuff. I just, if you give me good Batman or a good Superman movie, I'm in, man. Or a good Aquaman movie, I'm in. You know. Speaking of Batman, Superman, what you, what do you think on the uh, stuff? Uh, have you seen the trailer yet? The Snyder Cut. I want to see it. The uh, was it Justice League Snyder cut? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, they're making it into four hours, man. I'll watch it. Again, it's it's like, and that's the thing with DC, man. I really want to love their stuff. As oh, a yeah. comic book nerd, like I've been reading comics since I was four years old. I want to love your stuff, man. But just give me some good Batman. It looks like Pattinson's going to deliver on that. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. They said more like '40s noir Batman. Man, I'm like, Flash, oh, Flashpoint looks like it's going to be uh, doing pretty good. Be bad. You got Michael Keaton coming yeah. back to be Batman. I'm like, holy shit, this is huge. that threw me off. 
No, the only really thing did. that makes that awesome is if Keaton sticks around and does a Batman Beyond movie as old man Bruce Wayne. He's gonna have to. I he mean, he has to do it. it, it it's just, it's not gonna be right. Michael otherwise. Keaton, I know you watch this yeah. uh, show. Do Batman Beyond, man. Do, do Batman. It. We told you to. The camera dude's even laughing like he's like, hell yeah, you gotta be Batman, dude. Hell yeah, cameraman Mike. Green he's Goblin trying not to choke right there. <laughs> wait, 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 not Green Goblin. Vulture was dope, but uh, yeah, he's the Vulture Batman. was pretty cool. Michael Keaton is Batman. I don't care what anybody says. Mark Hamill's the And Joker. they gave him that shout out on the Crisis of the Earth. Yeah, yeah. The the what was it? The uh, the guy that was the reporter there. Yeah, he looks was, up in the sky at the back signal and he's like, Hope you're seeing this big guy. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome, man. That the crisis on it again, DC's killing it with T V. Oh yeah. They're trying to put it together with the movies, man, and they'll get there. They'll get there. That's kind of sad to they hear that get uh, like Supergirl has got like one last season, and then well, I guess it transfers over to, what was it, Superman and Lois? Uh, is that what they're doing again? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm yeah. Kind of very ballsy. I didn't think they'd put Superman on TV again. Yeah, I, I was kind of surprised about that, but God, looking and I forward love Henry to it. Cavill as Superman. I think he's great. Oh, yeah. Mustache and all. <laughs> Cesar oh Romero had a mustache the whole time, though. Yeah, that's Joker. The yeah. Joker, they just painted over because he was a sex symbol. He couldn't uh, shave the pimp stash. Oh, yeah. He, he had to keep that. And I actually did, I used to cosplay as the Joker, and I would purposely grow a mustache just to see how many people caught it. Just and to see if it was knew. the, they that, knew that if it was Romero. That guy's a Batman <laughs> fanatic, yes. They just kind of, you just get the snicker and the nod like, hell yeah, yeah, dude, I get it. Look, there's awesome, the Oompa awesome. Loompa again. You should get her on the show. Hey, turn, look at this. Hey, this is the best check thing. this out. <laughs> this is the best thing I've, I've seen, seen in a long, in a like, long I've done, time. I've done hundreds of cons. What's, oh, can you do the dance? Yes. <laughs> She's in my book of awesome. That, that is a Hall of Famer right there. The thing I don't know is I don't know the whole dance. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff at Comic Cons, but I've never seen an Oompa Loompa. You're in the book of awesome. You were the first. Yeah. That, that's, I mean, you've been a lot more than we have. Right. We, we've been to at least a couple hundred. I've never seen an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> never seen an Oompa Loompa. That is epic. Yeah. It's almost like Stranger Things in here. Was, uh, I'm, starting, kind of, I'm starting to hear that background noise, man. <laughs> that, like, hum. <laughs> that ambiance. Well, as always, it was good to see you guys. All right. Well, yeah, we can't keep you here all day. So before we do hop off here, man, you want to uh, let the fans, Comic Sire, know uh, where to find you on our website? Or? Uh, uh, John Anderson on Facebook, Instagram, just Brother John 1701 I think the same thing on Twitter. I don't know. I don't keep up with that stuff. <laughs> right, right. I, if I didn't have it plugged in on my phone, I told somebody the other day, I would rather lose my wallet before I lost my phone because I'd be asked out. Like, I wouldn't know anybody's. I couldn't even call my mother if I lost my phone. <laughs> She'd send out a search party after like three days because, again, I just I don't have time to drive down there. I do. Oh, it's a lie. But, yeah, I'd rather lose my phone or my wallet before I lose my phone. But, yes, check us out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of the things. All of the medias. All the social I'm platforms. always posting stupid stuff on those things. And remember, Comic Sire, like, subscribe. Remember, we're the only channel that has a clean bill of health from Doctor Doom, Doctor Strange, Doctor Fate, and Doctor Who. See you in the multiverse. Got to run. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men. And you should like, subscribe, watch, and tell all your other friends to like and subscribe. Comic Insider.